hello everyone welcome back to the channel but if you're new here welcome i'm Seneca. i'm just average i'm not beautiful lucky or rich but i'm working on that okay most days it does seem like there is a black cloud following me around but if you enjoy watching someone try until they fly so that you can be inspired to to do whatever it is that you're dreaming of, then join me as I vlog my journey to achieve all my goals against all odds and build my dream of Black Sheep Farm plus adventures along the way you don't want to miss out on. Be an early subscriber so that you can say you were here from the beginning. Hit that subscribe button and that post notification bell so that you never miss out on content that's mostly failing, sometimes winning, but never boring. And it will encourage and inspire you to follow your dreams and go after whatever you're dreaming of doing. So I'll see you in the vlogs. Okay, bye. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, but if you're new here, just plain old welcome. I'm glad that you came by to see what we're up to. Today, I have to try to figure out how I can better utilize my feeding program. There's a ton of waste, and one thing that I don't have a lot of is a ton of money to be generating a ton of waste. So I'm going to show you right down here on the ground. That's from a roll. That spot's from a roll, that spot's from a roll, and that spot's from a round roll. What happens is when they eat it and pull at it, a lot of it gets like strewn to the side and then they pee and poop on it and it'll never get eaten. So right there on the ground, if I was in a guess, there's probably about 50 bucks worth of hay. That's not effective to what I'm doing. So what my, until I can get my barn set up and get that on the way, and I'm, I'm working on money to do that. And and don't look at my hair. You know I always have bed head. But, um, geez, that scared me. Squirrels are fighting. But um, what I'm needing to do is put the horses in separate pens um, with like kind of like a shelter and a turnout. But what I'm going to use as the shelter is, is what they've been using. And that, and I'm sorry, um, I'm probably distracting more than anything else. Um, this shelter I made so that my horses have a dry place to be outside of the rain. Now, because they're wasting so much feed, what I need to do is feed them by their weight. A healthy adult horse of normal average size needs 20 pounds of roughage a day, whether that be alfalfa, coastal, Bermuda, whatever you're feeding. And then if you're working that horse in every situation is different don't come for me blah 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 I know everyone's an expert you know what you know I know what I know let's keep it at that not being nasty but I've done my research and one person's ideas and opinions get swayed because they feel more important about one area or topic whereas another person feels different in that way so now that that's out of the way because everybody wants to be an expert, especially people that don't own horses. And they want to tell you what you're doing wrong and pick, 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 pick you apart. Because they're so perfect and they have no problems. Okay. What I have to do is take the pen idea, separate them so no one pushes nobody else off the food. There's a pecking order. Stronger, more dominant horses will push smaller, weaker horses off of their food. In order to stop that, I must pen them up. And it will consist of a covering to get out of the rain with a turnout area where they can dry them, I mean, not dry, sorry, where they can um, walk out and exercise is what I mean to say. 
exercise their legs, stretch their legs, so to speak. Now, no, they won't be able to run, which is important to me. I love to see my horses running, but this is a temporary solution for a very current problem. <laughs> and uh, that's what my mission is today, but there's a lot to be done because these are staked down. They got like industrial size zip ties and the cattle panel that's underneath there is like super like cumbersome, hard to work with. But I have to find a dry spot in the pasture for all three of them. Try to keep them close to each other so they feel safety and um, try and get this down and up before it's time for me to go get hay today and the feed store closes. I know you're wondering why am I trying to do this in a one day and um, because there's no time like the present and it needs done now. And if I do it now, I don't have to wait till later. I like it. Ooh. At any rate, let's um, get started. I'm going to put you guys down. And I don't know how good the video quality will be, but I will try. I'm not a professional. I'm just here trying to encourage you so you can watch me try, try, try and fail. So you're not scared to try, try, try. Because every failure that you experience it just means that you're closer to a success and I want you all to remember that I know I have like a million things against me okay I don't have resources I don't have tools I've got a back that's got disintegrated discs but we're not gonna let any of that stop us I have a dream and I'm gonna make it happen and if you have a dream I want you to pursue it with some realness Pursue it with everything you've got in you because you only live once and your life is a gift. And I truly believe that. And so if you got to watch me fail to get the courage up to do what you're trying to do, so be it. <laughs> I'll be the pen of your jokes. No, really, I love all you guys. I appreciate you. I'm so grateful that you're here to watch this content. And that's genuine from my heart. So... Um, I know I joke and I kid, but what is life without humor? I mean, I couldn't get through it. Without further ado, I'm going to get to work. I'm at the feed store and I just got this load of hay for the horses and I'm about to go to another feed store up in Hilliard because this feed store is too high. I get my feed where I can afford to get it and feed's expensive and the same feed that I feed is $21 here. Sorry about the beeping. $21 here but it's $13.99 at the place up the street so we're going there but stick with me and I will get you updated on how the shelters are going in the pasture. My husband got home and is working torn on them. down. I went ahead and started feeding each horse by weight. And so each of them basically have 20 to 25 pounds of hay over there in those hay bags. And uh, they can work on those. And I put it in the hay bag because they help to slow feed and reduce waste and um, hopefully that will keep them busy and out of my husband's way while he's working on tearing this the rest of the way down. He still needs to take T-posts and secure these shelters with um, T-posts and straps so that they don't um, take flight if we get a big gust of wind. and. Um, Eventually, you can see from the way that they're all sort of like coming away from the fence out towards this middle tree, that's how the turnouts are going to be. And I'm thinking about doing them eight feet apart, um, the T-posts, so that will give them approximately 24 feet once they're already outside of the shelter itself, and the shelter is 16 feet. So that will be T-posts with electric poly wire so that they can respect their boundaries. And um, I will end up putting water tubs in each one because the water tank that they used to use is no longer efficient. So that's where we're at with that. 
Okay, I've been out grocery shopping. Also, I went by Tractor Supply and I bought a little mineral tub since they don't have the big one. They um, used that all, so they're all over there, like trying to get in on it at once. Um, this is the progress. Ugh, can't talk. This is the progress of the um, of the shelters or the temporary run-ins, whatever you want to call it, lean-tos. But there's four. Three have a roof on, and um, I still have to buy another cattle panel so we can roof this last one here. And I know it looks like funny because I don't know why my husband put, um, Mr. Ball put this store on going the opposite way, but that's fine with me. We, we need to put a roof on this one and I'm short of one panel, which if I thought about it, I would have got it when I was a tractor supply. But at that time I was too busy. I was trying to, uh, price how much it would be to get the stakes to, um, to come out of these um, and put the electrical tape so I could make long runs that, that like I talked about earlier and my pricing wasn't working with my budget it's Thanksgiving weekend everything at the store is like super priced for inflation um, yeah, so I decided right now if the hay bags are going to work to feed the horses and they're working from as per this morning, then just keep doing that. I don't necessarily need to um, tie everybody into the run-ins for right now. So until I know more, because I couldn't even figure out all the parts and pieces I was needing, I realized at the store that you need way more than just the electrical wire, the box, and something to hold them up as far as T-post or stakes or whatever. You also need like little connectors for each gate. You need like the little connectors that tie into the box. So, and then you need um, a insulated wire that runs under the ground to each gate so it's no good for me to electrify the horses um, run-ins if I cannot get in there myself to clean and you know muck and change water and and put feed in so my consensus was like look you don't even know what you're doing all the way so take a step back and uh, put that on hold you know, you've already got the main thing under control, which was the round roll was causing so much waste. So feed in square bales and eliminate the problem of people stealing hay. Well, no one's over there stealing hay. A matter of fact, honey's the only one over there eating. And I know that there's enough hay because I weighed it for each horse to survive and be healthy. And then I'm about to feed them now. So I will update everybody so that you can see I don't know if you're trying to do anything like this I don't know if anyone has any use to ever do anything like this but if it's just encouragement to um, you know deal with your struggles with a fervent attitude with a positive attitude and don't feel defeated I mean I've been trying to do this more than one way and I'm not going to stop that that one plan that I had today didn't work because it didn't work with my budget. But hey, I'll keep trying until I figure this thing out. I can't afford the barn right now, but I'm going to figure that part out too. I know that they need a barn so that I can take care of Corbin's allergy problems and also keep him in during the day and turn him out at night so that he also doesn't have allergy problems and coat problems. But um. I know that even these trees that, that I'm clearing, I know that this pasture that has no grass, just weeds, I know that all of this will come together because I'm not going to stop working at it until it does. And I have that bulldog and determination that we always talk about. Yeah, we're going to do it. We're going to get it done. And I want you to do the same thing too. Don't be scared of failure. Every time you fail, excuse me, every time you fail, it's a 
closer step to a win. And that's how you have to begin to see life. You have to realize that number one, you can't care what others say or what they think. You have to somewhere instill it within your thinking and within yourself. Just make up the mindset that you're going to be like, okay, this is what it is. I'm going to do it. I'm not going to take no for an answer. And if one way doesn't work, I'll try another. If that way doesn't work, I'll try another. And if that doesn't work, then I'll try something else. And that's how you get things done. Uh, I don't know if you can see back here, but I'm stuck to the rafters with hay. And so not only am I feeding them coastal, I'm also, I have um, alfalfa and timothy that I'm also feeding so that I can make sure that they get good roughage. And then I couldn't afford a scale even. So I took the scale out of my fishing box so I can hang, hang the, uh, hang the hay and weigh it. So, all of that system's working, and it already I have saved $200 just by feeding like this, because I was buying every two weeks four round rolls, and when I look out in the pasture and see that half of that is all on the ground, I can't justify wasting that type of money, and they don't know they're wasting, they're just doing what's in their DNA to, to eat around the clock. So, it's different for me to feed this way, but if it's going to help me get closer to my goals and save money and not waste, because there's not that much to go around, <laughs> then so be it. Okay, i got to feed, but um, I'll update you soon, so stay tuned for good stuff, and um, thank you for tuning in.